There's more. behind the wheel. Ooh. Captain Richard Orr is putting us on the fish out here in Grand Cayman, man. Right by Ooh. land. It's amazing you can catch something like this right by land right here. Right, right by here. land. No shortage for the water here. having some ceviche prepared right now. So while we're stopped, getting that ready, um, I'm gonna drop down, see if I can catch anything on a jig. What I'm using here is a Palomar jig, it's a 5.3 ounce Palomar jig, and I'm also using high seas fluorocarbon, 60 pound fluorocarbon. So let's see if I can catch something while they're preparing the ceviche. I'm using a heavier polymer jig so it reaches the bottom quickly. right now. Oh my god, this is awesome. It's your wahoo. Fresh, fresh, fresh. 
doesn't mm. get any fresher than this. Just a little bit here right now. with Pringles. This is what happens when you forgot, uh, forget the chips on shore and all you have is a couple Pringles on the boat. Oh yeah, the Pringles do not hold together. Pringles are not ceviche approved. Oops. No, they're mm. not. Mm -mm. So it's not going to work. Alright, we know what to do. We got spoons, so <laughs> we make it work. <laughs> I got some crunchiness on mine from Pringles. Oh yeah. Gosh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Captain Richard just made this for us in the back, putting together Looks like some orange bell peppers, some strawberries, some yellow bell peppers, some onions, and of course the wahoo. Now we can go back to wahoo fishing after we're done with this. Alright guys, so we're done eating our ceviche. Now we're gonna go back to wahoo trolling. The reason why we stopped to jig is because we're waiting for the tide to turn. And now we're done eating, so we're gonna go back to wahoo. So, wish me luck! Try to do this. 